Got a lot of questions that have come in from our local supporters. Um, Jay Hobart says, are the people and groups involved with the recent Balenciaga episode considered to be possessed? There seems to be a strong satanic component operating their work. Just want to, did you hear much about the Balenciaga uh, advertisements? And I've heard some of, about it. Neil. Yeah, so I mean. Bring us up to speed. Balenciaga, kind of a luxury, opulence, whatever clothing brand, um, recently had a couple ads, uh, you know, photo shoots campaign where they had children posing, holding bears that were kind of bound, I guess would be a way to put it. It looks like the teddy bears in drag or or BDSM. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. And then... um, there just are various allusions to ch- child abuse, basically. Like, what do you mean? Well, specifically, the one that I saw was there's a picture of a bag with papers scattered on the table, and then one of the papers, somebody identified it as a, a page of from a lawsuit, which was the legalization of Damn. simulated child pornography. Gosh. And then also... Yeah, um, I guess that's the... Yeah. There was another thing that I remember seeing... What the where, hell is where that? People were saying, I think that this is just something... I hadn't seen any actual first-hand evidence for this. I think people might just be making this up. But, Father, maybe you have a perspective on this. Is People were saying, oh, yeah, the Balenciaga like creative team communes with, with demons for inspiration. They, they hold you know rituals and ceremonies to try to get you know satanic influence to give them new creative ideas. I, it makes me think of Second Corinthians again, where St. Paul says that Satan transforms himself into an angel of light and he deceives many people. I think there's a lot of people that work in league with the devil, either directly or indirectly, because it's rooted in the sense of pride. People are infl- inflating their own egos and then seeking power, prestige, money, that sense of control and dominance over other people. And certainly the devil would be right in the midst of that. So in this particular organization, I can see where people that are promoting a certain agenda, especially abuse against the human person, might be in league with the devil. If you think about it, the human person is God's greatest creation because the human person is created in the image and likeness of God. And anything that would distort the human person, degrade the human person, would bring joy to the devil because the devil believes that when he attacks the human person, he's indirectly attacking God himself. That's just, uh, yeah, terrifying that they would put that much effort, right? Because a, a photo shoot for an advertisement is obviously put together with tremendous care. So to have those letters just so, such that they'd be seen by people and mm-hmm. recognized. Yeah. Do you, do you find that there is a normalization of satanic imagery um, uh, in our culture today, that people are becoming uh, maybe more evangelical uh, about Satanism? Yeah, I think it's becoming more culturally acceptable, mm. no matter where you go. If you think about it, a lot of programs on television today, there's a lot of emphasis on the demonic. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the devil's in vogue now. Mm. He's trendy. So there's a lot of people that are interested in that topic and interested in the devil Mm. and the devil would thrive on that. It would love to be the, the center of attention, like the screaming child, so to speak. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you liked and if you loved subscribe.